Good morning. Just getting to the office. Just want to say one thing. Your comfort zone is your worst enemy. I agree. plan we're gonna get to it so we're making some really good progress here with the cross promos as well as the articles just read two emails this morning maybe three about people who are currently writing articles or want to write articles about us and right now we're partnering with about three campaign managers on Kickstarter to do a cross promo between our projects as well so all our long hours on the computer and in these chairs as unfun as they were, they're finally paying off, which is the reason why we do it. We just hit a new milestone, 90 backers. All right, so Steven and I told you or alluded to earlier on in the week that we had some big news or some interesting weird news coming up on Thursday. You wanna tell them what we're doing? So what's going on right now is we're about to be on a podcast and start surviving the startup. Be interesting, should be fun. Yeah, it's really cool. They reached out to us, asking us if we want to be on their podcast, and we graciously accepted. And now we're prepping for the next half hour is gonna be us having a conversation with Mark and his entrepreneurial host. And other than that, we have no clue what to expect. This is gonna be so easy, like, we're just having a conversation. I do that all the time. It's so simple. It's like right now. All right, dude, I'm gonna head out in the other room. Talk to you soon. You uh, hold it down in this room, I'll hold it down in the other room. We're gonna be uh, on a podcast. All right, real quick recap. We just finished surviving the startup. Did we survive the podcast? I'd say no. That was more of a reaming than anything. We got grilled, and maybe rightfully so. They asked us a lot of questions about our financials and our numbers. Just a, a big learning experience for me. Overall, I thought that was pretty fun. It was definitely a new experience. <laughs> oh, shit. that was fun though. Hi, my name is Ryan. Welcome to the Surviving the Startup podcast follow-up on Success or Bust. This is my co-host, Steven. How's it going? I'm doing very well, man. How are you? Uh, it's even better to be here with you. So we, we were actually just on a podcast with a really nice host and a very nice co-host. And they were really cool to talk to. It was an interesting experience for us. It was our first podcast going into it. We were nervous as hell. And a lot of things... Couldn't, couldn't a lot of things been prepared. Yeah, a lot of things slipped our mind when they asked us questions. But we do have answers. And we wanted to address those this questions is, that we weren't able to properly This is how address. we wish we would have answered it. Exactly. Understanding the question properly. So the question was, first question, when Kickstarter is all said and done, what do we have left over? And that was kind of confusing to us because we weren't really sure whether it was talking about money, product, maybe both. What do we have left? Exactly. Right. So to follow that up, we'd have obviously two things left over. One, we'd have money left over. So the more money we get, the more money we're going to have left over. The less money we get, the more shirts we're going to have left over. If we have $17,000, which is our goal, that'll be enough to get us 666 t-shirts. Strange number. It, it's a sign. But um, when we reach that goal, it would probably only take us about 300 shirts to get to that goal. So we'd have 366 shirts left over with no extra money left over. We just have inventory at that point. Right. So we're investing the extra money into inventory, 366 extra shirts. And then once we have those 366 extra shirts after the Kickstarter, we can then start selling online to start immediately being profitable. And we can also give some of those shirts to influencers around the web, social media, any other outlets that can review our t-shirts and suggest them to their audiences. That is our main strategy. And that's how we wish we answered the question. Instead, we answered it with... Uh... Steven? 17... We would have a thousand shirts. <laughs> no, no, that's not... I can't wait to hear the podcast and hear what we said, because I feel like we just kind of, like, forgot a lot of... It's going to be interesting. Great learning experience. 
we got a podcast under our belt. We're going to be on the internet forever now. That's brilliant, dude. You're going to tell our kids how we got thrashed on our first podcast. Hmm. I must have mumbled my name or something. I'm going to take him apart and dissect his body. We decided today that we're becoming engineers. Steven and I have ventured into uh, unknown territory. Beautiful here. Joanne's Fabrics. So now we're on the way to Fry's. Fry's Electronics because we need electronics. Lots and lots of actual electronics. Lots and lots of electronics because... We're trying to become engineers. We're becoming engineers. We're engineers. I am an engineer now. Let's do it. So we just got fried. Now we're heading to the gym. I literally feel fried right now, dude. It's been a long day. Ah. Oh. It's gonna be longer. Let's go to the gym. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Steven here. Uh, we just got out of the gym. It's Keep 10 your 57. We kicked the gym today. True. What we're gonna do now is head back to the office, clean up, and then we're gonna just Get the get out of here. Ryan tells me I gotta vlog more, so I'm gonna start taking hold of the camera, all of the production. You have your own camera. We both have our own cameras. Well, I'm gonna start recording a lot more. You guys are gonna get to see a lot more of me. Let me know who you like better, me? <laughs> me or him? Thumbs up if you like me better. Thumbs down if you hate me and like him. Wow, that's a terrible plan. It's your choice, Mom. Ha, ha, ha.